Hey, what's up? I'm Trent Windsor, and we're here in search of the perfect shuffle. It's time for another segment of New Editions, where I go through all the new music of the week, and I review all the stuff that I think is worth listening to and worth adding to your music libraries and to your playlists. This week has had a lot of really fun music, and I'm really excited to share with you all the stuff that came out this week. Lil Pump's got a brand new album out called Harvard Dropout, and on this album, the song that really stuck out to me is called Be Like Me featuring Lil Wayne. In this song and throughout the album, Lil Pump is as ignorant and as goofy as ever, and he really doesn't care, which he makes abundantly clear, especially on this song. Be Like Me has a really hot beat. It's got a great verse from Lil Wayne. It's definitely a song that'll get you dabbing. Huh. Uh. Mm. Throughout the song, Lil Pump talks about how everybody wants to be like him. There's some really weird flexes on this song. If it didn't have the backing beat, and the confident and energetic delivery from Lil Pump. It would almost sound like a confession at a Narcotics Anonymous meeting. Hi, uh, I'm Lillian Pumpernickel, but most people just call me Lil Pump. Hi, Hi Lil Pump. Pump. Uh, it's hard for me to do. You know, I uh, started sipping lean when I was 13. Got to the point where I was taking drugs like it was vitamin C, you know? You know, I was so far gone, I was so far out of it, I, I ended up spending $2,000 on a white t-shirt and $10,000 on bed sheets, fake Gucci. But you know, I, I just thought everybody would want to be like me, you know? <laughs> everybody want to be like me. This is a song with great energy, it's a fun banger. I would say it's 25% skippable. Next we have a song called Flexing So Hard by the group The Higher Brothers. The Higher Brothers originally caught my attention on the 88 and Rising mixtape, and this week they released a brand new album, which is full of strong songs and really strong features as well. Higher Brothers are a Chinese group, so the song switches between English and Chinese. To me, that kind of feels like cheating, just because if I ever try to freestyle, I've only got one language worth of words to try and rhyme. However, a lot of the song kind of sounds like it's just a collection of random trap words put together, but they don't necessarily make a lot of sense. For example, in the chorus, they start out by saying, I'm flexing so hard, turn a bank into stripper club. You know, you got flexing, you got you got the bank, okay? Uh, you got the stripper club. How those all fit together, not exactly sure. At one point in the chorus, they even say, my money too longer. Whatever the case is, Higher Brothers definitely put a lot of energy into this song, and you can definitely tell there's a lot of humor as well. Uh, with the humor and the energy and the quirky beat, this is another song that I think is 25% skippable. Slowing things down a little bit here, the next song I'd like to talk about is called Old Fashioned by Bruno Major. Old Fashioned is just a really sweet, gentle, pop love ballad. What I really loved about this song was Bruno Major's voice. When he sings, he sings as if he's singing to uh, someone who's in his embrace, as if it's very close quarters and very intimate. He's not trying too hard, he's not singing too loud, or really work in the notes or anything. It's just as if he had written a song for someone personal and was playing it for them personally. I really enjoyed the feeling of intimacy within the delivery as well as within the lyrics. I would say it's 30% skippable. Next, there's a brand new song out by Wallows called Scrawny. This is just a classic indie rock up-tempo song. It's got classic indie rock instrumentation Nothing too experimental or different, but it's a really fun song with a lot of energy. The chorus really gives a great description of most indie rock frontmen, which is a scrawny mother effer with a cool hairstyle. Since the dawn of time, young men with very little meat on their bones but cool hair have been fronting indie rock bands. Today we'd like to salute the young men who made all this possible who went forward without an idea of how their hair should look and without any food in their stomachs. Thank you, scrawny boys with cool hairstyles. We salute you. We salute you. It's a little bit 
bit tongue in cheek, it's very playful, and I thought it was really enjoyable. If you like Weezer, if you like Coin, if you like Hippocampus, then you'll really enjoy this song and it's definitely worth checking out. I would say it's 35% skippable. Next, there's a brand new EP by the artist Grandson. And on this EP, there's a song that really stuck out to me called Stigmata. This is a really raw and guttural rock song. Not in the sense of heavy metal or hard rock. There's an electronic aspect. There's a lot of trap percussion that goes along with it. But what really got me was just the raw and untamed energy of this song. Grandson really comes through and just punches you in the gut with this song in the best way possible. It's a really unique song and I really enjoyed it. It may not be for everybody, but it's definitely worth checking out. This is a song that's 40% skippable. Go listen to it and let me know what you think. The next song I'd like to talk about is called Alligator by Monsta X. Monsta X is a K-pop group. K-pop! I solemnly vow to always use that clip when talking about K-pop. The song has affected electronic production. It's got some more trap percussion, but the elements that we all love from K-pop are all still there. It's very catchy. You've got some great vocals, some good harmonies in there. If you watch the video, there's some great dance moves. All elements of a great K-pop song. The only English word that I could really understand from the chorus is alligator. I feel like I could probably get behind anything these Korean guys say because they just say it so catchy. There's even some cool K rap in there. And the only English words I understood from the whole verse were alligator and banger. And that's enough for me. It really is a banger. It's a fun song. It's got a lot of energy. 35% skippable. The next song I'd like to talk about is called Tia Tamara by Doja Cat featuring Rico Nasty. This is a heavy, hard hitting rap song with these nasty, growling, hard hitting verses. Doja Cat and Rico Nasty rap over a grimy, dark, Tyler the Creator-esque beat. The lyrics have a lot of 90s nostalgia, which is usually very colorful in other songs, but in this song, the 90s nostalgia is really juxtaposed against the beat. There's this raw energy, a really confident delivery by both rappers. Rico Nasty's feature in here really comes in clutch and delivers the knockout punch in this song. This is one that's 40% skippable as well. The last song I'd like to talk about is called Nunya by Kehlani featuring Dom Kennedy. This is a cool, confident, sexy R&B song, just like you might expect from Kehlani. Comes with a super catchy melody and a really fun music video. Kehlani has a great voice. And I really love her delivery on this song as well. The rap verse from Dom Kennedy is lacking a little bit. Uh, it's just a little bit lackluster, but overall it's really smooth and catchy song. This is one that's 35% skippable. That's all the music I have for you today. If you like what I'm doing here, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, like this video, turn on the notifications, and feel free to share it with your friends. All of the music I talked about today will be linked in the description below, as well as links to playlists on Apple Music and Spotify. Check out my other videos for more music suggestions and more ratings. I'm Trent Windsor, and this is The Perfect Shuffle. Blah, 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 blah.